This is Kevin Grogan, Managing Director of Investment Strategy here at Buckingham. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about all of the inflation that we've been seeing here recently. And I know we've done a couple of other videos talking about the more investment or portfolio related considerations you have when inflation is very high. But today's video is going to focus more on a couple of personal finance things to consider when inflation is as high as it has been over the past 12 months. And so one thing you always hear, starting from a portfolio related perspective, is you always hear that bonds are a bad investment when inflation is very high. And owning a bond is just like making a loan. So if you own a treasury bond, you're lending money to the federal government. If you own a municipal bond, you're lending money to a state or a city. If you own a corporate bond, you're lending money to a, a company or a corporation. And so most bonds are made at fixed rates. So when you're lending money at say two and a half percent and inflation is running at five, six or seven percent, well, then you're losing the purchasing power of your money from owning that bond. And so that's why people say that owning a bond is a, is a bad investment when inflation is very high. But the other side of owning a bond is borrowing. So if you have a mortgage at a 3% interest rate and inflation is running at five, six, 7%, then it's the bank that is taking the bad end of that deal. And so one interesting aspect of the environment we're in now is really for the first time in, in many, many years, our guidance is getting to a point where it may change. So for the last several years, when a client would ask whether they should save their extra money and invest it, or if they should use that extra money to pay off their mortgage, in general, over the past, say, 10 to 15 years, it's been a circumstance where our advice would be to go ahead and pay off the mortgage because the rates that you were getting on safe fixed income were much, much lower than what the rates that you were borrowing at on, on your mortgage. Well, now we're getting to a point where some people have mortgages at interest rates of, say, 3%, and that's roughly about the same interest rate that you would be getting in, in fixed income markets at this point in time. So we're getting to that tipping point where it, it may be, uh, in, in the not too distant future, it may be a circumstance where it makes more sense to invest than, than pay off the mortgage. So that's one thing uh, to consider in, in an environment where inflation is high and interest rates are rising. The other personal finance tip I'd share during a period of high inflation would be to re-examine your homeowner's insurance. So if you say bought a home, and many people are in this circumstance, depending upon the real estate market that you're living in, where you may have purchased a home for say half a million dollars, and now we've seen home prices go up considerably over the past couple of years, that home could be worth now 900,000 or a million dollars even, again, depending upon your local market and how much home price appreciation you've seen over the past two or three years. Well, now it's important to take another look at your homeowner's insurance and make sure that you have enough coverage to replace your existing home because as home values have increased, so has the raw materials that go into rebuilding a home if you were to have uh, something happen to your primary residence. Also, the labor uh, prices have increased over the past several years. So again, it's important to just take another look at your homeowner's insurance and make sure that you have enough coverage to replace your home if something were to happen to it today. If you do have any questions or if you'd like someone to take a look at your personal circumstance, I would encourage you to reach out to your advisor or click the link in the description below. 